was it Charles Ludlam who said, if you're going to tell people the truth, you better make them laugh at the same time, otherwise they'll kill you. That's my thing. All good comedy is serious. It's about something. It's about what But what itches you is about you. The period of silent films is evidence of the enduring value of comic narrative and the universality of visual storytelling. During this period of film history, a group of gifted actors came to light. Their unbridled imagination and physical skill made people laugh all over the world without saying a word. In the early days of cinema, these silent comic actors captivated audiences' hearts and minds with their expressive faces, clever slapstick, and remarkable ability to elicit laughter only through gestures. We'll attempt to examine the lasting influence of a handful of these unsung comic geniuses whose works continue to be relevant today. These are the top five silent comedic actors of the previous century. Charlie Chaplin was a pioneering comedian, actor, and filmmaker who gained notoriety during the silent film era. He was born in London, England, on April 16, 1889. Chaplin had a poor and difficult upbringing, and these early experiences had an impact on his subsequent work. Before achieving fame in America, he started performing at an early age and honed his craft in music halls and vaudeville. The Tramp, a famous character created by Charlie Chaplin, made his screen debut in the 1914 motion picture, Kid Auto Races at Venice, and quickly gained popularity. Chaplin's Tramp persona, complete with bowler hat, cane, and signature waddle, won over audiences all over the world. Later, he starred in a number of silent films, such as the beloved The Gold Rush, City Lights, and Modern Times, which mixed humor with social commentary on the state of the world, industrialization, and poverty. In addition to his acting career, Chaplin directed, wrote, and composed music for all of his motion pictures. His inventive storytelling methods and acute attention to detail transformed the film industry, solidifying his reputation as one of the greatest directors of all time. Chaplin's legacy persists as a pioneer of cinematic comedy and a cultural icon whose influence is still felt in the entertainment industry, despite enduring difficulties and personal challenges throughout his life. Born Joseph Frank Keaton on October 4, 1895, in Piqua, Kansas, Buster Keaton was a renowned silent cinema actor, comedian, and director, renowned for his amazing stunts and deadpan expressions. Born into a family of vaudevillians, Keaton started acting on stage with his parents at an early age. His mother, Myra Keaton, worked in the entertainment business, and his father, Joe Keaton, was well known as The Man Who Laughs, a vaudeville performer. Growing up, Keaton was known by the nickname Buster because he could take falls without getting hurt. From a young age, his physical dexterity and comedic timing were apparent, and he soon established himself as a star in his own right. Keaton distinguished himself from other silent era comedians with his characteristic deadpan look, amazing acrobatics, and audacious antics. Keaton started his cinema career in 1917, collaborating with the legendary silent comedian Roscoe and Fatty Arbuckle. He quickly made the switch to producing his own movies, giving him complete creative control over the entire process. Films directed by Keaton included The General, Steamboat Bill, Jr., and Sherlock Jr. are praised for their creative camera work, elaborate set pieces, and clever jokes. Notwithstanding his achievements, Keaton had to overcome obstacles in his personal and professional life, such as alcoholism and a switch to sound movies. Nevertheless, he continued to have a significant impact on film and worked in the field until his death in 1966. As a trailblazer of physical humor and inventive cinema, Buster Keaton's influence is still felt today. His films demonstrate the enduring appeal of his distinct style of humor and storytelling, inspiring both audiences and filmmakers. Keaton's reputation as one of the finest silent film actors of all time has been solidified by his contributions to the field of cinema.
Born Harold Clayton Lloyd in Burchard, Nebraska on April 20, 1893, Harold Lloyd was a trailblazing silent film actor and comedian most recognized for his risk-taking stunt work and glasses character persona. After his father passed away too soon, Lloyd was raised in poverty and later relocated to California to pursue an acting career. Lloyd's breakthrough came when producer Hal Roach cast him in a number of short films. Around this time, he began to establish the recognizable Glasses character, who is characterized by his round glasses, straw hat, and upbeat attitude. In contrast to the more depressing personas of Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, Lloyd's persona was frequently that of an aspirational achiever who worked hard to succeed in spite of many setbacks. Lloyd performed many of the exciting stunts in his own films, including the famous scene from Safety Last. 1923, when he dangles from clock hands. Lloyd's films were renowned for their exciting action sequences. He became one of the highest paid and most well-liked actors of the silent era thanks to his commitment to physical humor and creative use of special effects. Lloyd was not just a brilliant comedian but also an astute businessman and director. By co-founding Harold Lloyd Corporation, he was able to have more creative control over the projects he worked on. Because of his independence, he was able to try out novel methods and push the limits of silent film. Lloyd persisted in his career in the entertainment sector, producing documentaries and making sporadic film appearances despite a setback and a switch to sound movies. In 1952, he was granted an honorary Academy Award in recognition of his contributions to film. Harold Lloyd is still remembered today as a pioneer of silent cinema and a master of comedy. His roles as one of the finest actors of the silent period have been cemented by his films, which are recognized for their timeless humor and jaw-dropping feats. His films continue to captivate audiences worldwide. Throughout the early decades of filmmaking, Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle was a trailblazing silent film actor, comedian, and director. Arbuckle, who was born in Smith Center, Kansas, on March 24, 1887, started his career in vaudeville before moving to the then-emerging genre of silent film in the early 1900s. Arbuckle gained rapid notoriety as one of the greatest performers of the silent period, renowned for his theatrical humor and larger-than-life character. He rose to prominence at Max Sennett's Keystone Studios, where he trained with such comedic greats as Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin. With his deftness, expressive expression, and comic timing, Arbuckle enthralled audiences with his slapstick comedy. Arbuckle was not just a gifted actor but also an accomplished director and writer. He directed a number of popular silent comedies under the pseudonym William Goodrich, showcasing his inventive vision and talent for visual storytelling. His work as a director helped to further establish his standing as a versatile artist in the developing cinema business. But a scandal in 1921 that implicated Arbuckle in the rape and manslaughter of actress Virginia Rapp at a San Francisco party cast a cloud over his career. Arbuckle was temporarily barred from the film industry and his reputation was damaged by the controversy, even though he was found not guilty of any of the charges in a well-reported trial. After the ban was eventually lifted, Arbuckle found it difficult to return to his previous level of prominence in Hollywood. Despite the difficulties he encountered, Arbuckle persisted in his career as a director and actor in low-budget movies, going by a number of aliases. Sadly, on June 29, 1933, at the age of 46, he passed away from a heart attack, ending his career. Arbuckle made indisputable contributions to silent film, even though the scandal surrounding his personal life has overshadowed his legacy. He is still regarded as a significant character in cinema history because of his innovative energy and comic brilliance.
Harry Langdon was a talented silent cinema actor and comedian who was born in Council Bluffs, Iowa, on June 15, 1884. He was well known for his distinct sense of humor and innocent demeanor. After a difficult upbringing and a tour of duty in the army during World War I, Langdon achieved fame in vaudeville and on stage. In 1923, Langdon obtained a contract with producer Max and its Keystone Studios, which marked the beginning of his big break in the creation of his recognizable on-screen persona. Langdon's comedy depended more on subtle facial expressions and subdued reactions than the physical slapstick of his contemporaries, such as Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, which led to him being dubbed the Little Elf. During his tenure at the first national studio in the mid-1920s, Langdon enjoyed his greatest success, starring in a string of highly regarded Frank Capra films. In The Strong Men, 1926, his most well-known movie from this period, he portrayed an innocent and gullible man who went through a number of disasters. Despite his early success, Langdon's career started to wane in the late 1920s as a result of personal problems and creative disagreements. His popularity quickly declined as a result of his inability to adjust to shifting public tastes and the shift to sound movies. But in the 1940s, Langdon's comedic gifts were once again recognized when he successfully shifted to radio, television, and stage roles. His distinct sense of humor kept audiences entertained until his untimely demise on December 22, 1944, when he was 60 years old. While his reputation as a silent cinema comedian may not be as great as that of some of his peers, Harry Langdon made a substantial contribution to the comedy genre. His unique style of humor and on-screen demeanor made a lasting impression on the history of film, inspiring a new generation of comedians and directors. In summary, the silent comic actors of the early film era shaped humor as we know it today and left an enduring impression on the history of film. With their universal appeal, they were able to overcome language borders and enchant audiences worldwide through their skillful storytelling, expressive faces, and deft use of physical humor. Their legacy lives on as a tribute to the healing power of humor and the timeless beauty of silent cinema. Thinking back on their contributions, we are reminded of the ageless charm and wit that never failed to enthrall audiences, demonstrating that laughter is a language unsurpassed in a world devoid of words. Thank you very much for watching. I'd humbly request you to subscribe the channel so that I can bring more presentations to you.